there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're doing a cold open, a first look, a little taster of Warhammer Quest. Guys, I've, I I know a bit about Warhammer, particularly my knowledge is of the 40k series, the, rather than the original, like, uh, fantasy world, but I, I've, I, I'm excited to try this out. I know this isn't an RTS, it's kind of an RPG Warhammer game, so... I'm going to enjoy this more. RTS games are great, but consoles, not the place for them. So I'm hoping this kind of does something with the Warhammer license that I haven't seen before. Uh, we've already had things like uh, Vermintide, which were uh, interesting kind of like multiplayer experience. But I'm wondering what this is for an individual player. Now, um, I don't know if it's going to be great or good or bad or whatever, but we are here to check it out. Oh, okay. Huh? Hmm. Okay. Let's make that casual. Uh, party name the wanderers i'm a wanderer i'm a wandering and a wonder 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 why all right so um the bug bear bitters <laughs> Okay, tutorial available. Uh, questing in the Warhammer world can be very dangerous for any adventurer. Without knowledge of the basics, you will surely perish. Would you like to play the tutorial? I guess we shall. Now, the biggest problem I have whenever we do these cold opens, if I play tutorials, um, you can see it whenever I play something like uh, Constructor. They take too long. I want to, I want to, wondering if this tutorial actually will be engaging enough to keep us going really reasonably quickly. But if this is too long, we're going to cut this video and probably just stop playing the game because first experience of a game, if a tutorial is too involving, too slow, and the pace doesn't work for this show, then at the same time as I know it's not going to really engage me in a long, longer kind of like playthrough. Unless people watching the video really want to see more of it, because then I'll force myself to play it. <laughs> you awaken to the depths of a dungeon. Your last memories of an orc battle cries and the shouts of your companions. You must have been knocked out and left her dead. You hear more shouts coming from the gloom of the cor next corridor. Let's go look for your companions before they get themselves killed. <laughs> Okay. I will not survive this dungeon on my own. Understandably. I must move. Wow, that is not great. I can barely read that on the screen, and I'm actually like, I'm, I'm not too far away. But guys, can you read that at all? Your warrior will not survive this dungeon on his own. You must find the others. Use the directional buttons to move the cursor and press X to select your warrior. Yeah. And I have to move him across the room. Boom. Okay. So as we move through the dungeon. I got attacked by snotlings! And an orc boy! Uh, select your warrior. Yes. And attack. <laughs> Goodbye, snotling! And goodbye, snuffling. What? Select. Attack. Okay, so square down turn. Do wait, what? So how do I actually end my turn? There we go. And turn. Hey. All right. So, orc boys did enough damage. Excellent. A new weapon. Press add to slash twice. Add, oh, add to stash. The sword of spite is a large bastard sword that can only be wielded by the strongest of those dedicated to the dark gourds. Not only does it. Oh, sorry. Not only does it take a life, but it reaps the victim's soul. Oh, victim's wealth as well. A final spiteful act from the ruinous powers. So I take his money and his weapon. Add that to the stash. Good. Oh, wood elf amulet as well. That's very nice. And that was us. R1 for inventory. All right, and then we have to put that in there. Move. Is 
this. What? Oh, that was a shield, so it is for different things. Okay. So I can't use that. I can't use that either, can I? No. Okay. So that's fine. This seems a bit slow paced. Is that actually hang on, I'm gonna grab my guy here. My turn. Yes, I know it replenishes my movement. You don't let me do anything now. I end up wasting my movement there completely. I thought that was actually like someone like a knock over and get more. And it's just like it's decor. So I have to actually remember to end my turn each time, even though there's no combat. I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, because other characters in the dungeon are moving without me. Right. Is that what it is? Or is it just I'm being weird? Two night goblins. Okay. Badly wounded. Oh no. I have to give him heavy bandages. Okay. Do I choose myself? And I select him to heal. Uh, select him and then press. Alright. So. Select and give bandages. What did it say? Oh god damn it! Now I've actually lost the the tooltip. And what? Okay. There we go. Boom! Done dusted. Happy days. Plus three to toughness, whatever the fuck that is. North scroll. Great. Okay. So now I've got two people to move, right? So um, I'll take you. I have to end my turn then. to hit him with uh, when you do the winds of magic okay so if I turn it up to that one I do that Attack! So this is actually a reasonably slow-paced combat, but it's old-school turn-based um, dungeon crawling, which is absolutely fine. I'm actually like I'm enjoying what's been shown here in the game. It's just unbelievably traditional, um, especially for a modern game and I uh, um, suppose I mean there's actually a whole place for that in uh, modern gaming uh, swing and a hit and they're dead got a 3,000 gold sword fantastic all right so end turn and then run these guys to the end so essentially um, it's an old school dungeon crawler which is cool I'm actually, I, can, I can get on board with this 
um, for solo play. I don't see myself kind of getting as into this for um, multiplayer. You've reached the depths of a dungeon to find the final member of your party, the Wood Elf Waywatcher. She's a by the Wood Elf Waywatcher. She's particularly skilled with a bow, so let's loose off a few arrows. Okay. Cool beans. Um, I'm bringing you up as well, though. So, you get you. I'll hide some arrows there. Let's shoot to the back. Yeah? I was going to take the piss, but not do that. Nice. Hold down X on character item, and you can tell their stats. All right, cool. No worries. Select your wizard. What? Man? Healing? Sons of bitches. Ah, you missed. Ah, uh, what the fuck? All heroes die, eventually, inevitably. Method and character determine this land. At the march of time, looting, indulging, mere distractions. From what you crave, an idea above trinkets to last forever. A calling. A legend. Alright. Uh, okay. What was that? Was that just a little bit of poetry in the middle of this? Or was that just us trying to show us a tutorial? It only was. It was just to show us a tutorial. Um, this begins with a promise of gold from a mad old farmer. He seems to think the local spider populace is amassing an army to rise up and eat his crops, and possibly him as well. Your party find themselves standing at the entrance of an abandoned mine. Plow through these arachnids and we can collect our reward. Alright, give me my soldier. And let me walk ahead. Attack by four giant spiders! Oh no! Whoops! Swing and a miss! Swing and a hit! She moves up behind. She moves into the position. And fire! Ah, hey, they're dead. Ah! Missed. Wait, the elf gets one shot? God damn it! Eep! Alright, that's okay. Eep! Why can't I hit? Berserk and pinned? How? What?
Grogdor go punch thing. Grogdor miss, feel bad. Oh, feel bad. Well, that was great. Oh, stop doing that, you son of a bitch! What? I know he's berserk, but why isn't he swinging at this fucking thing? Oh, God almighty! Swing! Swing! Yay! In a flanking position. And we're doing the spider crawl, scrawling food for spiders. Doing the spider crawl, and we don't know how long it will take. Right. Kinda hitting this kind of individual movement. It feels like it takes too long to produce any results. Hey, giant bats. Put him up there, and then this way, whenever he goes through, I'm gonna shut off. Down you go, bitch! Yeah, crap. Berserked and pinned again? Motherfucker. Excellent. Happy days. That felt so much more gratifying. So whenever you strategically place your characters into like flanking positions, you get more chances of hitting. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, squashing bugs. Maybe the old farmer wasn't as mad as you previously thought. Calling the spider horde. 
Calling the Spider Horde an army might be a stretch, but he was right. There are a lot of them down here. From the looks of this room, it's only going to get worse. All right, cool. Yay. We have shit to kill. Three giant spiders, three giant rats. Happy days. Let's get our berserker in position. Swing and a hit. Swing and a miss. Uh, God, I throw you in there. You get a shot off at this prick and kill it. Oh, come on! Do I have any spells? No. That took a swing at him, yes. I don't want to actually move him too far out because there's too many of them. Dead. Uh oh, here comes a quarter full of them. Spiders! <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> oh, you fuck. Well, it would be a great adventure, just being killed off by a series of rats. Berserk, yeah. We can hit two of them. Yay! See, I'm trying to think, hitting the rats is probably my priority because they can actually potentially get there. They're going to go for bites, not for immobilization, which is not going to be a great thing to happen to me. Um. Not much he can do, not much he can do. At least that's a path cleared away a wee bit. We'll probably pull in two more of these fucking rats. He'll get free in the next one. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll survive this. It'll be fine. It's not that big. Of, it's not that big of a deal. It's like a, it's simple combat. If he dies, he dies. If he dies, he dies. You will probably need a heal though after this point. this one all out so are you covered on all sides nothing you fucks <laughs> I am victorious <laughs> the spiders didn't stand a chance Right, so combat-wise, this is really obviously a old-school dungeon map. Um, who killed what? It's for the XP. Nice, and the wizard killed sweet fucker. So I'm not too sure if um I could I could really get into this if I was going to spend a lot of time into it. But as it is, it just feels like a traditional dungeon crawler. That's why that's what it is. It's a, it's just an old-school dungeon crawler with a lot of slow-paced combat. Which is charming as hell, but I'm just not into the Warhammer universe, so I don't imagine myself getting really involved if it starts to get lore, very lore heavy. So, um, what was this? Well done, you've made it out of your first dungeon in one piece, more or less. Now let's go to the nearest settlement. 
Siegfried Hof. To spread your hard-fought hard earnings, use the directional buttons to select a settlement, then press the travel button on the settlement card to move there. So I got 50 gold, and I'm going to go shopping. <coughs> Standard rule of thumb for every D&D campaign ever made, find the tavern, get fucking wasted! Alright, so that's the only one I can go to anyway. We'll take a look to see what this place is going to look like, but... Siegfried off. As we open the books. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I do like that. They they really should start with this kind of stuff rather than with a flat layer dungeon because it's like, what, we're in 20 minutes into a video and now I'm only starting to see what the settlements look like and stuff. All right. So settlements are all done. It's all done through as adventures approach. Safer, they spy on a lonesome figure that's set upon a two league waystone. Man, see you coming, doesn't seem to care. Close inspection. It's a miserable minstrel, so a quest that you can actually can tie in, continue on with. All of it is done through uh, menuing and like this. I'm, and like, I mean, as, as much as I'm actually charmed by um, traditional RPGs and stuff, uh, this is, doesn't massively appeal to me as a console game. Menu options, menu screens should not be... Brief. Oh, wow. oh, well, there you go. There's actually all the other people you can actually pull in as well. Now... Uh, this feels like a kind of game that I would actually play on mouse and keyboard, definitely, but not so much by a controller because it feels a little bit clunky. You can't go click, 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 click. You're actually moving a lot of the D-pad around, and that is not convenient. So, um, yeah, guys, I'm going to have to actually call I'm going to call it this just for after you complete the first quest. You've seen what the gameplay is like. You've seen uh, what kind of uh, combat is like. You've seen what the, uh, the pace of the game is like on console, and the... In my case, this is actually not something that I would come back to immediately. I can understand why a lot of people look at this and go like, Holy shit, this is awesome, he's talking out of his ass! But for me, no, this is a PC game, not a console game. Um, appreciate the actual transport of it towards the console for anybody who really want to get into their Warhammer games. I'm looking at a couple of guys here I know would be on the channel or actually enjoying the chat, watching this, going like, Oh, fuck yeah, I can get into this. But um, not for me, thank you very much. But um, yeah, essentially, I'm going to have to just call it at that. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've actually enjoyed my commentary over the opening tutorial and first dungeon of Warhammer Quest, I hope you actually would hit the subscribe button and actually come and check us out on a regular basis and actually check out any of the other places where you hit the ups and likes and the follows and whatever else so you can get notifications. If you actually, in fact, want to find me online and you don't want to bother through any of that, all you have to do is search for Passage of Skin. Like, I'm not trying to hide from you guys. I'm, I'm, uh, there's plenty of places you can find me. There's plenty of places you can find these videos. And uh, if one of those places that you find these videos happens to be YouTube, where... This stuff pops up here on the side. Over here, there'll be three boxes. One of the boxes right about here will actually be a playlist of other games I've done cold opens on. Over in the far side will be most recent videos on the channel. And right here is a video for you based on Google Analytics. It's designed for you to enjoy and em embrace. Embrace with all of your love because it is basically your taste personified as a video based on what I have available to give you. And if there's anything you want to actually see here and check out here on the channel, make sure to not comment underneath and tell me what you would like to know. So thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.